Hi everybody, good evening. I'm continue doing um, Cyber Security 101. A bit late, I'm just doing one easy one for now. I'll continue tomorrow. Uh, I'm doing the IDS Fundamental. Uh, this is a, it's more an introduction, so it's not um, heavy uh, as a, as a, as a I think it's more introduction as it's a cyber 101 so it's more give you uh, what is an ideas then fundamental of ideas along with experience of working with snort uh, an ideas uh, intrusion detection system basically usually we have a firewall but firewall you have rule to uh, to block and things there is another room uh, intro to firewall that's a different room uh, the firewall check the traffic when connection is going to take place and deny a dependent rule income outgoing rules. However, sometimes it detects the activity of the connect that pass through the firewall. So detection usually come in a local network check in and then the, uh, that's why this solution is known as intrusion detection system. There's another one called prevention, the P, letter P. If, if an attack has successfully bypass the firewall via legitimate looking connection and then perform any malicious activity inside the network there should be something and that's why uh, your second line of defense is the IDS can an intrusion detection system prevent no it doesn't usually because usually an IDS is detecting some they can have a um, proactive action in this room, they're more talking. Uh, this is the twist in general. Uh, the IDS deployment mode. If you go, if you land in Cisco or CompTIA, they, they talk about these things. Host uh, a, a host intrusion detection system basically it's installed in this uh, computer, things like that. Uh, installed individually on the host. Then we have a network intrusion detection system. This one will check all the network. So basically, uh, you put somewhere in network next to root uh, things like that and and they detect so this is basically principle of it detection mode of course this is signature based it's like uh, the antivirus you check if there is a pattern you detect it and normally basic because it has a timeline so the ideas first learn the behavior have a baseline and then anything that is not uh, follow the baseline it will detect it I guess you can read them doing this quick in case someone need help in the question or something hybrid basically has two things like uh, mix these two together now which type of ideas is deployed to detect threat throughout network this one is of course a network intrusion detection system uh, network NDIs not uh, the host because we're talking about network here the next one, which ideas leverage both signature base and anomaly? Basic two together is the hybrid. Uh, so the hybrid, we have it there. The example in this room to show you about security as you study in your career in cyber security and computer IT security, they're talking about Snore. Snore is well known as the main website.org. Uh, Snore is a, fr is a foremost open source intrusion prevention system. Uh, and also this is just an introduction even the lab is an easy straightforward lab these other rooms there's one called snort learn how to use snort to detect real-time threats there's a free room it's an old room but has and then there is a snort challenge the basic this one also it's uh, I think it has too many things to learn I have a video for it it's a long room is a lot of to learn here to to uh, to do these things is uh, how to detect images all of that so but take slowly before you jump in this there's also this walkthrough this is ctfs check the walkthrough first before you you do the other ones so it's not have three you have the either sniffer mode packet login mode or nds mode uh, Packet sniffer mode, this mode read and display network packet without performing any analysis on them. As we can reduce case the network team observes some network performance issue to diagnose as the issue they need to detect. Okay. Then we have packet login mode. The security team need to initiate a forensic investigation of the network attack. They, they would need to 
traffic log to perform root cause of the network traffic log through snort packet login more can help them okay and then you have the, the most what uh, uh, the snort uh, network intrusion detection system mode snort mode is the primary mode that monitor network traffic in real time and then we have a lab now later on we can do that the most relevant use of snort is an ids come from an idc mode however snort can be used in any of the bulb mode which mode snort help us to log traffic in a pickup file so this is a packet uh, packet login sometimes you just need to log uh, your network traffic which primary mode uh, uh, snort uh, snort uh, 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 the primary mode is network intrusion detection system that's more uh, i think so yeah the, that's the whole point of having it so the other one is more login type of things now if we, uh, that's the room i already started the room so uh, snor has the main config for snor if we go with mtc it's in uh, let me see, mute is in uh, okay we can just uh, ls ls no this is the file of snor the snor config uh, that's for mtc snor uh, snor that's how you config but you don't really touch the oh, but we need the root access for this let me see if I have an SU. You should have an SU do here. Yeah, this is a. Uh, but usually you don't touch this one. This is the main one. Though we show you know which one. The one that we. Uh, where, where that one? The local directory of. Uh, I forgot. We'll check it now. The rule format of Snort is this what? Uh, it has like the action alert or uh, this one. And then the protocol, and then the direction, uh, the source, uh, the the source IP, the source port, and then destination IP, destination port. This one you use a lot in this room, uh, room challenge. Basically, later on in your career, and then you have uh, the message, whatever you want to log in, and then the signator ID. This is number to distinguish between. Uh, your rules you can make basically they come or style you you select numbers and then the revision like uh, rule one or two just to keep your track uh, here they explain it nicely you can read about this and then a rule creation yeah this one firstly open the law usually that's why uh, if you want to when you do snort you you don't go to the main conf you go to lo uh, rules and then you go to your local rule file for example, we have two rules already uh, created there by TriHackMe team. Now add the following rule after already uh, the rules. So let's say they said let's add this one. And I'm doing so. I press A or insert so to start right typing. Wait, what's wrong with you? Uh, end. Then we could post there. Alert. So basically, it alert in, in the AC, uh, uh, ACMP to uh, look if I for look here. The source IP, any any of them, go into the local network. One two seven zero one is a local host. Uh, any port message loopback ping detected, and they give it SID uh, one ten ten thousand three, and the revision one. So we got this now. We will need to order already present rule in the next task. So this one, this we need them later on. One use for the press control uh, control X if you go in nano. I'm not in nano, so we just do that to point W Q. I save it uh, for nano. You do control X. It seems try hack me like uh, nano. They always talk about nano. Depend what your editor you want to use. That's fine. Now, if you want to test. Uh, uh, the rule that's usually how we test it. You, you say, yes, you do, of course. You need the snort, you need the root access, privilege access minus L. You define the, uh, define the log for snort minus A loopback because the loopback is LO interface. A go to the console and then we tell him what we want to test. We want to test our uh, what we just did now, uh, the main configuration. 
the, the, the conf. Remember, this conf will call this one because they know each other. So, uh, as you do, stop there because it's logging now. In case you look back, interface not L O our interface is uh, uh, hold on. Uh, IP address uh, the loop uh, where is the loop pack is LO so loop pack is LO so we correct uh, loop at 127 you can see where uh, the 127 the rule that we did now we need to uh, try so if someone want to to test this rule so if we ping in 127 uh, no, not 172 127.0.0.1 we suppose it's supposed to trigger the, uh, the snow through. Let's see if it triggered. it. You see loop back ping detected. And then we have it. So let me stop the ping from here. And then we'll stop this. Control C. Because uh, remember what happened. It show you loop back ping detected because that uh, that's the message we said. And then if we go back, it shows you the rule one to ten three, and tell you also uh, uh, the time, the date. So basically, we got running snot on a pickup file. Yeah, you can for especially this room. This room, it, uh, when you do it, for example, you run it in pickup line, not on live system. So sometimes you get a pickup and you want to test your snot. We saw how snow can be used for intrusion detection in real-time traffic, however, many sometimes encounter a scenario where you have a historic network traffic in pickup. So, for example, now, where is our pickup file? Uh, the following command we just see the previous can be used. We don't have a test here. I don't think we have a test. Yeah, we don't have. Uh, replace a task people with the path to your pickup file for analysis. We don't have a pickup file here, so... This room doesn't, it's a basic introduction. So if you have a pickup file, use minus R to call the pickup file. So basically use the same syntax. This is the live one. And, and use, we, we don't, don't have, have a pickup pick file for testing, testing. that's fine. Where is the main directory of Snook uh, uh, that stored the file? We just see it now. It's this one, the etc1. That's usually Linux all in the etc. You can remember etc is not. ETC something. Which field in the in the snort, uh, snort rule indicate the revision? Remember when we did the uh, uh, revision, we said REV, uh, revision, REV, so we put the revision there. Which protocol is defined in the sample rule created in the task? The protocol we did now is SMP. Uh, SMP is a, a, a ping, so we use it for ping now. What is the file name that contains custom rules for snort? The custom rule, which is the file, uh, sorry, let me out. This is uh, the file that we created for, uh, oh, you just enter the name of the file. That's where you put your file. You don't touch the main configuration file. So, yes. So, now let's practice lab. We have the machine, we have practice. Uh, scenario are a third party forensic investigator company contact you to investigate a recent attack on their network. They handed over a pickup file name intro to pickup which is contain all the traffic captured during attack. Your task is to run snort on the pickup file. Where is this pickup file? The pickup file in TOPS is placed in ETC snort directory. You have to change your directory to ETC snort. So we can see it uh, CD. We go. Let's clear first. Or uh, clear. We go to CD. It is so, so we go to it is no. Let's ls. Oh, this is the pickup file. Now, and run the pickup file command on the new pickup file the same way we did task four. Let's go to task four, and we have already. They tell us how to do it. Uh, so. We just do as you do to become privileged. We do snow minus Q minus L. We call the log for testing uh, snort and then minus R the task. The file is intro and then minus A for the console. We want to ch check the console 
minus c the main configuration file is a snort snort.conf Uh, so when you run it, so so that's what we got now from from our running of the of the file. He said SSH connection detected. So let's go back. What is the IP address of the machine that tried to connect to the subject machine using SSH? SSH connection detected. Uh, uh, rule uh, let's go back and then uh, he said the the uh, it give you the source IP that's the IP remember it tell you the IP address all of them it's like there is a brute force in SSH 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 so the IP there and what other message beside uh, let's go back leave this there here let's open the uh, as you do vim etc snort rules what is that file uh, oh no uh, local uh, local rule uh, this is the rule that uh, triac me created uh, the, the one for ssh ssh connection detected uh, if it, it any any two port 22 for local 22 so that's what the, the ip was detected from that pickup so we have uh, the rule and they said what all the rule message beside the SSH message detected in the pickup file uh, connect then we have a ping detected and this one is part of the rule this one because even it tell you the number of the rule one uh, this is the, the number and uh, the SSH is two so you can see them here this is one uh, for the, the ping and the two for the test. So the one for the other one that was detected is ping detected. So straightforward. And then what is the SID of the rule that detect SSH? The one that detected SSH uh, SID. So is this one the number two, the ten thousand two? Yeah, guys, this is an introduction room for snort. Uh, it's not. Uh, you don't need to. Uh, if you come from CompTIA or Network, even Cisco, something like that, uh, the IDS introduction is good for you. You can remember, so you know Snow. Don't get too much uh, confused about this. Uh, there is, uh, as I said, uh, before you do this Snow trial, because this one is, uh, uh, oh, this one is walkthrough. So the uh, this one is walkthrough. It's not the CTF. So. Uh, no, it, uh, here it teach you also how to do the, all the things that we talk about now. You can see snort, the conf. Uh, this one is a free room. If you have time, try to do it. It's a free room. You have the pickup, the same one we're talking now. The pickup file, the console. Get only. And when you get good in this, you can come to the, the challenge, the basic, and then there is another one challenge, uh, challenge, I forgot the name, I have video for this one so, yeah I uh, hope you like it guys, and thank you very much and have a good day